All right, so here we are for our first match. Uh, we'll keep. This hand's not incredibly exciting, but it's certainly not bad. Yeah. You know. Got a Swift Quarter Cliss, got a Lightning Bolt, got a Pro Prism. Depending on what my opponent does, might have to use a Lightning Bolt in turn one. Looks like I won't, because they're Affinity. This deck is a bit better against Affinity. Um than the blue-red version, I believe, but, uh, I could be wrong, of course. What do I know? Let's see what I draw. 4C. 4C's good. 4C's very good. Um, not the greatest matchup game one, though. That is for sure. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, looks like my opponent's just gonna go Frogmite next turn. Bowman's piece is good. So... We'll do Swift Water Clips. I don't really think it matters since I have the Pro Prism, so... Looks like my opponent's going to play a Frogmite next turn into maybe a Thoughtcast. Oh, well, they drew a land, so... Alright, there's the Frogmite. Uh, okay, make that double Frogmite. And a Carapace Forger. Okay, well, I'm going to bolt uh, one of the Frogmites, so... Thoughtcast, right? Or Sombra Hoverguard. I hope it's hover guard. I'd rather kill a hover guard. Nah, it's not. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Go ahead and bolt this one. Just to, you know, slow my opponent down just a teeny bit. That was a Paragrine Drake. So, we'll go 4C. Let's see what we hit. Man, it's almost like I do the same thing with every deck that I play. Uh... <laughs> We don't need capsize. I don't think teachings is going to help in this regard. But uh dispel could be good since we have the Drake. Um hmm. It's very interesting. I could also just put Urza's Tower to the bottom and just try to win naturally on regular five lands. Maybe that's actually better. But I'll keep the Dispel, uh, because of, like, fling and stuff. <coughs> so, there is that. Alright, well, we drew Urza's Tower anyway, but I'm still just, uh... I think I'm just still just gonna go Falls here and pass. So I'm pretty happy I put the Tower on the bottom now. And, uh, if I want, I can go Moments Piece, but I don't necessarily have to. So, we'll see what my opponent does. The good thing is, now that we have Dispel, we can stop a Fling on a Tog if we, uh... If it comes to that. My opponent still has double Chromatic Star. Uh, well, not double, but has a Chromatic Star. They have double Spring Leaf Drum. Four, five, six, seven. I'll go to ten. I think going to ten is fine with my opponent having three cards in their in their hand. Hopefully none of them are Gavanic Blast. Oh, well, they do play Slumber Hoverguard. At least I know that now. <laughs> Alright. Another Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt's not terrible. Certainly not terrible. So, let's go ahead and play Drake here, just get it out. And then leave up to Spell. My opponent does not have a Galvanic Blast, which is good. So now we can evoke Mole Drifter, and I think that's kind of what I want to do. Yeah, I think evoking Mole Drifter is good. Because I definitely need to hit a Ghostly Flicker very soon. Uh, Flame Slash isn't bad either. But not hitting a land there kind of sucks. Um, my opponent's only got two cards. Let's go ahead and Flame Slash here. Whew, excuse me, had to sneeze. Uh, but I'm not going to bolt. I'm going to leave up Moments Piece. Just in case, because I can block or block, and I can take three. That's really not a problem. Phone's cracking probably for a red. Yep. Did they hit the Galvanic Blast, or are they just faking it? No, it looks like they're just faking it. It looks like they already had it. I'm going to Dispel here, though. My opponent has a second Galvanic Blast. Uh, I think that's fine. 
you know, I can uh, just kill this, take three. I don't think I'm going to die. Unless my opponent has exactly a tog and fling, I'm not going to die. Oh, that was why my opponent didn't want to use it. They had double galvanic blast. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that then. I think if, uh, if that was my opponent, I might not have galvanic blasted there, but what do I know? So we'll see what my opponent hits. Alright, there's a red. The cool thing about Pulse is also is like it, if the six free life like makes a difference if my opponent like you know doesn't calculate that, which would be cool. Uh, okay, take that. Pro Prism. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and Pro Prism, leaving up Moments Piece and Pulse. All right, we hit a second Urza's piece, so that's good. So now we'll just say go. Leaving up Pulse for the Peregrine Drake. Well, it's only got two cards. Probably going to Moments Piece here, though. Just uh, save some damage since I can Mnemonic Wallet back, which is cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So my opponent Galvanic blasted me, and I'm at three. And I'm guessing that they have Fling in their hand, so now... I get to go back to 9, but then I go to 6. Uh, but now my opponent has no board. Interesting. I'm just letting it go. Um, hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Because now, assuming that they do have fling... Uh... I guess I should have gained six in response. I thought my opponent was just going to go for it there. So I guess that was uh, my fault. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I had one more land or Tron, this would not be a problem. But I'm just going to have to say go now. And then uh, see what my opponent does. And hopefully it works out for me in the end. Alright, well, <laughs> unfortunately I drew a tap land. So, if my opponent has fling, I am dead. And I have to assume my opponent has fling. Um, so, I think what I'll do here is I'll go... Well... Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I shouldn't have played my land, actually. I'm a little upset, because... I, I, I'm just convinced my opponent has fling. Oh, well, it wouldn't have mattered. So I can go to 10, and then if my opponent has any burn spell, I'm dead. But there's not much I can do about it. I made the mistake of not Pulse and Marassing when my opponent uh, equipped to the Frogmite. So, my own fault. I thought my opponent would make a, a certain play that they did not, so... That was unfortunate. Well, my opponent is letting me uh, live for now. So it's possible they don't have fling or they're playing around me having a counter spell. Guess we'll have to see. No, they did have fling. Yeah. Yeah, I would have won the game. I made a mistake. Oh, well. My own fault. So just bring in these. I don't think we need the Caravex Torch. I think that's a little... A little too much. Giga Drowse is something that's interesting, but I highly doubt that that's actually necessary. So, Prohibit's not very... is not great against them. Uh, I think Capsize is unneeded. I think Dispel's unneeded. I think Counterspell isn't that great. Like, Counter Magic isn't really that great against Affinity. You kind of just want to be a reactive deck, I think. I could be wrong. There isn't really much else to take out. I have to take out three more cards. I guess I could take out Seagate Oracle. Like, Seagate Oracle is not great. Seagate Oracle is, uh, really not the best card. It's really just, you know, one three that comes down and draws you a card, and then it really doesn't do much else, so we'll see. All right. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. It's certainly not the best, but it's certainly not the worst as, I, as well. 
Just, uh, I don't need much to get going. Which is good. Alright. Tower into that. Say go. So we're probably going to get a uh, Shimmering Grotto with this expedition map since we already have Tron. Unless, of course, my opponent is uh, playing Rays or Stone Raid or something like that, but I would doubt it. Alright, so I got Shimmering Grotto and I drew another power plant because I love plants and I love power, I guess. And, uh, yeah. My opponent did not have the fastest start, but uh, that's quickly changing. All right, tick two. Pro prism, okay, it's not bad. And draw pulse, okay. Uh, it's not bad either. So, what I'm probably gonna do is teachings for ancient grudge here, and ancient grudge away the reinforcer. I think that's probably just going to be better. Uh, except for the fact that I can't, so it doesn't really matter. So I guess I'm just taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for now. Alright, my opponent's saying go. Uh, actually, I could have. But this works out better. Oh no, I couldn't have. Never mind. Could I have? Uh, no. So, we'll get the Grudge. And we'll kill a couple cards. Okay. Ghostly Flicker. That's not terrible, actually. Um... Hmm. Guess here we'll just gain a life. And red. We can't be burned out, so that doesn't really matter. Go Grudge. Does my opponent have a Dispel? That actually be a little annoying. And green. And we'll go Grudge on the... See the Synod? Just to try and slow my opponent down a bit. Oh, no. They did have Hydro Blast, though. So they do desperately want to protect that Sea of the Synod. Alright. Well, there's a Great Furnace. See? They didn't even need to Hydro Blast it. They just drew a Great Furnace anyway. <laughs> Alright. Mnemonic Wall. Uh, it's pretty good. So... My opponent has a Pyroblast that's annoying, though. But for now, we can just... Play Mnemonic Wall and get back Mystical Teachings. Hold that up. We can also hold up uh, Ghostly Flicker plus Pulse Marasa. And the reason for that is is because we can just flicker this and uh, like a Prism or something. And pass turn. Of course, I guess my opponent could Galvanic Blast my Mnemonic Wall. Oh, they do have Pyroblast. Jeez. That is unfortunate. They have Dispel, too? Yeah. They don't. That's good. Yes. I could have uh, used Circle Protection Run on the Pyroblast, but it would not have done anything. <laughs> Alright, we'll block the Frogmite. Map 4, which is dangerous. Mole Drifter, there's something. Uh, 4, 5, cast Mole Drifter. I'm just casting it because uh, I'm just trying to play it as safe as possible. Now there's Peregrine Drake. But I think I'm better off Mystical Teachings for some kind of something. Not really sure what, though. But my opponent can't fling, can't burn me out, not easily anyway, so that's good. All right, so here I'm going to uh, pulse of Marasa back the Mole Drifter, 
which is going to put me to 10. And then we will go teachings for something, leaving up a red to counter whatever my opponent possibly has. Yep. Losing mnemonic wall does not matter all that much right now. Uh, I guess we can just get the other pulse of Marasa. And then we can get Hydro Blast if need be. Real grind game. That's what this is. Another Swift Water Cliffs. Uh, do, 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 do. Alright, well, first, let's go ahead and play Paragrind Drake. My opponent let it resolve. So we'll go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll actually just cast out uh, Mole Drifter again. Oh, I had one floating. Ah, whatever. Okay. Uh, just past turn. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to Volt the guy yet. So we'll see what my opponent does. Alright, so my opponent now has no cards in hand, so I'm just going to get back Mnemonic Wall and win the game, and I'll come back when I win the game. Alright, and my opponent decided to be a very nice uh, person and um, conceded to, you know, a, I guess counter a Sombra Hoverguard or destroy a Sombra Hoverguard or counter a Thoughtcast, but that just seems meh. Uh, is where... Dispel could possibly be very good in this spot now. Um, there isn't really much else to take out, though, which is a problem. could probably take out a Bolt, actually. I don't think that, like, one-for-one one removal is going to be the greatest uh, in this spot. I think just moments piecing and having circle protection and then trying to set up all day. Look at my mouse. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, uh is going to be my path to victory here. Wow, this hand's terrible. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, this hand is not good. But I'm going to keep because I, I think I could easily mulligan into a very, very horrible six. So just got to hope, I guess, that my opponent does not have the greatest start. Okay, well, they're already off to a good start, so that didn't really help. That's not terrible, but... It's not very good either. Actually, I guess I should have played this in case we uh, find a moment's piece, but I don't think that's going to matter all that much at this moment in time. It's with Mole Drifter because we're in desperate need. And just past the turn. Drawing another map there was not what I needed. So, we should have won this match. Uh, I should have won game one, but I messed up. And, I mean, we won game two. Probably going to lose game three now to just some bad draws. But, you know, what can you really do in the end? So we'll do this, and uh, we're not going to play the Prism. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get a land. Bluff something, probably. Alright. Take five again. And go ahead and get uh, versus tower right there. Moments piece is good. Moments piece will help hopefully. Peregrine Drake. Okay, I'll well, say go. My opponent probably has just like a bunch of counter spells in hand, which is not good. A teachings would be great. Teachings would help quite a bit, I think. Alright, go ahead and ask my opponent to keep the peace, at least for now. And then we'll just search for a land, just not waste time. Uh, probably just get another tower, since we already have the Grotto, the Prism, and the Swiftwater Cliffs. 
Another moment's piece uh, also helps. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not going to play the Peregrine Drake yet, so we'll wait a little bit. So I drew Cop Red, uh, which hopefully will, in combination with my other things, buy me a little bit of time. We'll see. Drew another moment's piece. I drew Lightning Bolt last turn and just bolted away uh, his Frogmite. So I'm going to go to three here since I, I really can't die to a burn spell. So I'm just going to save the moment's piece as long as I can. All right. Not drawing the greatest. Not drawing the worst either, but certainly not the greatest. We'll need to get a string of card draw here pretty soon. All right. Well, we drew Mystical Teachings, which is good. So hopefully that gets us somewhere. I don't know where it's going to get me, though. I don't really have much, I think, with Mystical Teachings. I don't have Capsize. Uh, usually Capsize is not that good in this matchup, but somehow this is where we've gotten. <laughs> somehow th this is where we've gotten. Uh, let's go ahead and Teachings. Let's see what my opponent decides to do. I guess we do get Pulse, so... Well, we'll get Grudge as well. So we'll go ahead and get Grudge. And then we will flashback... Teachings for Teachings. Actually, no, we won't do that quite yet. Go ahead and Grudge you. My opponent will probably Hydro Blast one of these, if not both. So we'll see. Yep. Well, uh, we're going to grudge again. See, Hydro Blast the other one? He does Hydro Blast the other one. Uh, okay. That's fine. A tower. Well, a tower doesn't really do anything. So we'll go ahead and, I guess... Nah, we'll just say go for now. And we'll flashback teachings. Sure. Flashback teachings and get another teachings and then uh, use that teachings to get a pulse of Marasa. I almost clicked a couple too many times by accident. <laughs> So afraid my opponent had dispel there. That would have been a problem, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and flashback teachings. All right. Get teachings. Go teachings. For a um, I guess the most important thing is this for right now, so we'll just get that. And then not flash back the other teachings, because then I could die to a burn spell. Flame Slash. Well, that doesn't really do anything right now. Um... So we'll go ahead and flash back the teachings and get Pulse of Marasa. Go Pulse of Marasa for Mole Drifter. And then play Peregrine Drake. Uh, well. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. My opponent will. F oh, my opponent doesn't counter it. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, 
And then five, I suppose. Play out, Mole Drifter. Drew another Pulse of Marasa, so that's okay. And then we'll go ahead and, I guess, Flame Slash this guy, see what my opponent does about it. Because now my plan is to chump with the Mole Drifter and then pull some Marasa it back and hopefully get somewhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bolt to get rid of this off the board. And then I'm going to cast Pulse of Marasa to get back Mole Drifter again. Somehow I have navigated this game a little bit better than I thought I would. I don't usually have pride in my ways of Magic the Gathering. Go ahead and play Mole Drifter again. I don't know what my opponent could have in hand. Pulse of Research, okay, we'll do that. Scar to land. Go ahead and cast 4C. And we see everything that we need. Wow, my opponent scoops. Jeez, I did not think I was winning that match. Uh, so, you know, if it had it not been for my punt in game one, I we would have won. I did not think we were winning this game. I felt that we were just completely dead. I got very, very lucky with my draws, and I think my opponent was just heavily flooded. So I, that's the only conceivable thing I can come up with. So, um, yeah, that was match one, and thanks for watching. I'll see you for match number two. I don't think I was winning.